Hello everyone, this is exclamation mark YT, and today I am here to uh, explain sort of in depth on how to get your very own th own 34 rope pack. Um, yeah, let's get started immediately. So first of all, you want to walk back a little bit because the potato has invincibility onto the wallop 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 screen here, right here. It's gone. So you want to walk back a little. Right around here, you want to turn around and flick that lower. So as soon as the wallop screen is gone, uh, okay, it wasn't exactly gone, but you can see this lobber actually dealt damage to the potato. So yeah, you want to do that. But one more important thing is you want to let out two lobbers, and then on the third one, on the, okay, so I let out the lobber here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six frames. I waited around six frames to swap to spread. That is very important. And I obviously jump so I get a better fan of the spread. So the spread, all the spread bullets hit the potato. Start hitting him early. I land. And I position myself here for the triple, which would be a right around here. Where the, where cuphead's, where the leaf is like cutting and cut, touching. Cuphead's middle of his pants, or his pee pee. Um, you can go slightly more to the right. That pixel, those pixels also work. But yeah, this like this will be optimal. And then let me slow down the video. Oops. And then you want to line up for a triple. Oh wow, that is a really bad quality. <laughs> Then you want to line up for a... Oh, I did the triple. Then you want to line up for the triple. And very important thing, you want to crouch and then caliber swap it. So you press EX and then swap immediately afterwards. And because we waited six frames earlier, the lobber and the lobber EX come out on the same frame. And then you want to wait a little bit. So the lobber comes out and you switch to spread immediately. I did it a little late here, but it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, a couple frames. You can be a couple frames late. That's what Grandi is called, it's a full delay Calva Swamp. So if you want an official term for it, there's that. Uh, so yeah, you get the task potato right then and there, which is the potato not shooting any more dirt balls. If you're getting around, like, the, if you can the potato right around here, uh, okay, okay, they're right there, around the 1050 range, 10.5x range, you're, you're pretty much set for the next two phases. Now, as soon as you kill the potato, you want to position yourself right here. Like right next to where the fertil Acme Fertilizer image is. And then as soon as you see, I repeat, see, you got to react to it. You can't pre-react to it. As soon as you see the middle of the potato, Steve go down, right? Like this part. As soon as you see it go down, I start sitting on my lower trap. I do one peak lobber, so I shoot a lobber at the peak of my jump, and then I land, and then as, as soon as possible, I shoot a lobber near the peak of my jump, and then after the peak of my jump, and then to make things a little easier, I just hold, and then I just hold shoot right here. It actually lines up your lobber cooldowns like pretty well, even if you're just holding for a little bit. And then you want to let an extra two lobbers on the ground. So that's one, two, and you want to move out. Flick the lobber, just flick the lobber back. So that's one frame, two frames, three frames, four frames, five frames, six frames, seven frames, eight frames, nine frames, ten frames, eleven frames, twelve. That's twelve frames. Um, if you if I did it here in six frames, that would also be a lot more optimal. But I don't really have a visual cue for the onion, and as you can and as you know, reacting to six frames is not very easy. But yeah, but as long as you actually like 
somewhat tightly get a lobber out on each cava swap, you're pretty much set. You see all those lobber exits, you see all those lobbers hitting. Here, I walked in a little bit too close, so I had to reposition myself, like right there. Fortunately, I didn't lose any spread bullets because my spread, because my turnaround was basically perfect. Um, yeah, and this is the triple spot for the onion, where your, where your the, the last part of cup is shovel is lined up with the shovel. Uh, straw is lined up with the shovel. I go for another crouch and then cavalry swap the eggs. Here. Um, the lobber pops out a couple frames before the lobber EX itself, that's still fine. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, four frames, that's, that's okay. You do another full delay, which means you let the lobber out and then the, sp and then the spread immediately afterwards, as soon as you can anyway. And you actually want to wait here a little bit, because you want to make it, you want to take advantage of the bullet distance you're creating right now. And then right as you, the onion is about to die, you close the gap. And it just finishes them off. So we gotta watch that in real time again. So I go for the triple. I walk in. Yeah. And but and one important thing to note, when you go when you're going for this the triple on the onion, um this is when you can start doing it because as because if you try to go for it as soon as the onion appears, um the onion's hitbox is shifted a little bit to the right, so the triple won't actually work. So yeah, now you want to set up the carrot lava trap. As soon as I see all the like onions, onion parts, like basically it's yellow parts in the ground. As soon as I see that, I jump up, do one peak lobber, and then do two before peak and after peak lobbers. So before peak, after peak, for a total of five lobbers. Yeah, before, after, and you can see all those lobbers going to hit the carrot. And plus, right around here, I want to let out an extra lobber and switch to spread immediately. And yeah, that's a perfect lobber trap, basically. And right there, I did, I did, think, I did, did this thing called the Gron Swamp, or G Swamp. Um, which it's um, after you... Uh, do a cava swap or whenever your lower cooldown is not ready at all you can tap swap twice really quickly right around here i should do it if you look at my if you look at this section yeah see i did the little two swaps what that does it readies a lobber for your next cava swap so on your next next cava swap an extra lobber will pop out so you want to do that as close to the ground as possible because you'll be missing your spread bullets anyway. So just making use of that like time where you're not actually going to be hitting the carrot that much. You want to prime the lobber so you actually get more damage out of the next caliber swamp. And then you want to do as you want to cut your jumps tight. So you want to you want to think of it as you're jumping on the next frame you land. Um, so basically just you, just so you can keep up spread DPS as much as you can. And, uh, yeah, and then you also want to cut your Kava swap tight. So you're trying to swamp the moment your Lobber EX itself comes out. And let's, let's, let me actually rewind it. And you might, you might be able to see that after I do a Kava swap, there's my Kava swap. On the ground, I do a Gron swap again. Okay, before we actually knock him out. So there's my Grand Swap. Calva Swap, Grand Swap, Calva Swap, Grand Swap, Calva, Grand. And on this EX, um, you basically want to like generate this card before the last carrot hits you. Or if you're lucky, uh, the carrot just might not even be there. But yeah, that's the gist of it. You wanna, you basically want to optimize everything. <laughs> And if like a carrot is too far from you, but um, carrot is very far from you and you're trying to clear him out, but by the time, so you land back and you do another jump and by the time the carrot is just going to be there and you get hit, right? What you can do is actually like I did here, I let myself fall for a little bit, actually. Like you can, you can feel it kind of. So I do my peak jump here. I'm going up, 
but I let myself fall for like a couple frames and then I do the cavalry swap and it actually allows me to kill the carrot. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> Remember to do all the Calibus swamps and Grand swamps, but yeah, that's how I get the 34 root pack. Let's watch the entire thing again. Um, basically everything I did here, if you can do it better, uh, you you basically have to do it better. Because 34.96 is the highest root pack we have so far. The lowest being a 34.92 by Grandius. If you want to get anywhere near 34, you basically like have to follow all these instructions. The only thing that you, you can like kind of improve on is so is here. When I waited when I accidentally waited 12 frames on the Indian instead of 6. Um you can probably like try and cut that cooldown in half. Also the turnaround. The turnaround you don't wanna like ever do. I just got really lucky here. Yeah. And one important thing to note as well, you don't want to stay on the ground too long while you're doing your ground swap. It's okay if you're doing your ground swap as you're going up. Just remember that. And that's how I get the 34 root pack. Pretty easy, right? I'm kidding. This is the most difficult IO I've ever done. Alright, see ya.